we're here at Dropout Entertainment. I'm here with Brazil's Edna. How are you guys doing today? Doing good, man. Happy to be here. Thanks for having us, man. Awesome. Nice. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you. You guys are uh, coming from a long way away. going great man like uh, we have five shows we played three and we have uh, tonight at the bovines and tomorrow at the mud club uh, yeah. ending the night so it will be a huge pleasure to us to come back to toronto and back to the place we won the last indie week yeah and this play the mud club is is magic bovine is like a, our second house <laughs> in <laughs> toronto and yeah. we're loving it. Uh, the Canadian people receive very well our our music. Uh, have the um, it's not the we 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 sing all our songs in Portuguese, but they I, I think in Canada they feel the the sound more than because we played on England uh, yeah. a few months ago. And no, last month. Last month. Ah, all right. <laughs> Uh, and and we we kept a uh, different reaction from the audience and think that in Can Canada it's it's better so we are excited to do the two last shows. Yeah, yeah. awesome. That's yeah. awesome to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys, uh, you guys were one of the headliners for the opening night of Indie Week at Revival. Yes. Um, they did something really interesting where they actually put all of your guys' lyrics up on a screen. Um, yeah. Have you, have you guys had that before at no. a show? No? no. First time, man. First time. It was the, the, the people at Lyric Find. Yeah. Um, they do that, you know, that awesome work with uh, translations and captioning videos on YouTube and all this stuff, like promoting. They do like uh, protection work towards lyrics and um, we got a chance to talk to them a lot during the festival and the work that they do uh, also to get the also the protection but also you know getting rights paid and stuff like that and they reached out to us because they knew that we were we we're going to do the showcase and like a you know it would be a great opportunity to have everybody understand what your lyrics are about and stuff like that so that was pretty cool so you know as the songs went along you know and kind of like a, a sap karaoke <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's cool. I, i'd never seen that before um but yeah, yeah. no it was great but uh yeah, your guys' music, it really does, um, I don't know, people there, even without the lyrics, like, we're really loving it, because like you said, it's, it's a lot about the energy. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you guys just did finish a songwriting panel, though. Yes. Can you guys run us through a little bit of your process for songwriting, um, like, with the instrumentation, the lyrics, like, what is your guys' process, and how do you guys do it? <laughs> Some songs came from a poem we, I wrote, uh, some poem, and then I present the idea to the, the rest of the band, and they go, ah, let's do with the mix this with uh, uh, the other idea, the riff idea that I have, or this groove, uh, it's, it sounds nice, let's uh, work uh, on the, this beat, and yeah. then uh, after we do the beat, and then we do some melody, then we write. So it's like a... a yeah. When it's most, uh, we are a 16 years old band, so we have a lot of process. And yep. nowadays we are actually, what's missing in our show? Let's do something we like to do in our show, uh, to sound good alive, to, yeah, you know, yep. the, uh, the give more power to our show. Ah, what, what kind of music like that, ah, mixed with the Brazilian rhythm, and now we're gonna get heavy in that spot and sing like that, or this melody, this lyric, it's talking about nowadays, so let's go, let's do it. And it's like, uh, you know, it's 16 years old, being together and uh, experiment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, experimenting ourselves to how to be 
uh, to do to create uh, something good. But he's the drummer. He know the we talk a lot a lot of things. No, no, less drum. Uh, more, 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 more. Less, less. No, more, more. Work out the dynamics of the song. Yeah, because um, really, <coughs> that's one that's one part that really the drums uh, kind of uh, takes the lead in a song, which is how to create the the certain dynamics for each moment, giving. I mean, this is something that actually each instrument, we've learned over the years of how to do this even better, but is the thing that, um, of leaving space for the other one during the song, like knowing when to pull out, knowing when to, you know, uh, put uh, less details in the part so that maybe the bass line can come through and, and it'll sound, it'll kind of like a be a solo or you can, you know, everybody bring it down the tone so when we go back to the verse, you know, you can hear the voice clearly and, yeah. and the song gains that momentum again, you know. So it's it's always like uh, in the beginning of the process of it all, I mean, we are always like uh, intu intuitively like trying different uh, methods because ideas come in different ways. Sometimes Yana can bring like a full song almost, like a whole guitar and vocal for like you know verse chorus and everything or sometimes uh maybe the guitarist is just kind of like setting up his his you know amp and trying the effect and he suddenly does a little doom, 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 and then you know be like hey we do that, that again <laughs> wait go back to that and then we were going to do something else but then you know no 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 Let's 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 try that out a bit, you know. Yeah. Just keep going, keep going. Then that's happened when we're like, uh, sometimes a song can take months to get to have lyrics ready. Or for example, we had one song where Yano went out to see his uh, mother or his grandmother or had a birthday or something, and me and the rest were in the studio, or you know, doing pre-production and. We started playing around, and the song started to come around, and the the singer was already writing something down. And when he came back, we're like, "Okay, so we have a song ready for you, man." It's like, "What then the hell just happened?" The bass line <laughs> and that's what yeah, so he just like just play bass line. You know what I mean? So. It's like um, rebirth. When you are creating something, com composing something, yeah, huh? right, uh, like right. writing songs, it's like you you are going to. The chaotic, uh, we, we actually we, we fight. Chaos. We have uh, a really bad uh, argues, argue, uh, uh, discussions, argue. discussions. Yeah. And then uh, after all this process, we have ah oh, no, we fight, we smile, and we do a lot of things. And now we have uh, five uh, five new songs. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a hard process. Like yeah. it's a oh, relationship, yeah. and you have to be uh, the. I don't know the 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 calm to deal with this, you yes. know, because it's yes. too intense. Right. Ah, my idea, your idea, mixing. What's better for the band? What I want to do? What you want to do? Yeah, all the ego we're doing this. We, we want to do the same thing. Yeah. And after all these discussions and with uh, good and bad moments, we we go through and we save some songs to present. It's right. like a result of. Uh, some, something it's going deeper you know and that's why most part of the bands don't le least uh, last last uh, to, for too many years because in the first fight they are ah, I don't I don't want to see you anymore so yeah it's, it's an intense thing to go through especially like when you're an artist like you guys are I'm sure you all have very strong opinions yeah, and to pick and choose which of those strong opinions you're gonna make sure like go yeah. through, and what times you yeah. let somebody else have their part. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I guess like that's a good point, and I'm sure that is why a lot of bands because <laughs> yeah. they can. But yeah, if you guys can go through 16 years of getting through all those and coming up with the music, that's that's what it's about, right? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so, right? Yeah. Doing that's something awesome. right or wrong. And, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going well for you guys. You guys won uh, the Indie Week contest last year. Yes. Um, do you want? To Tell us about that experience. Like, how was it when when they when you saw you were the winners of it? How was that feeling? Um, well, it was it was crazy, yeah. Because I mean, we when we came up, uh, we'd heard that you know there there was this whole like judge set part of it all, and you know, kind of like the competition battle of the bands kind of thing. But um, we didn't focus at all on that because first because whenever whenever we get into festivals and stuff. 
you know, we, we don't really enjoy the, the, the competition side of it if the festival has it. Not, you know, we're not bashing the competition, but, you know, it's not something that we're, we're worried about, let's say, right? Right. And coming over from Brazil, singing in Portuguese, you know, playing to an entirely new audience, we had no idea how people would connect or understand. I mean, I thought, yeah, we might get, you know, a cool reception or something, but definitely, I mean, after you'd seen all the other acts and bands and stuff, you think, you know, um, we're not going to be chosen because, like, you know, it's Portuguese. I mean, they're not understanding what we're saying and blah, 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 you know what I mean? So when, when we started going through the the stages of it, you know, now you're into the semifinals. We're like, what? What's going on here, man? So, like, but yeah, let's deliver our best and everything. And, and then we made it to the finals. We were already, you know, psyched out about that, happy to be doing the finals already. So to us, it was one in that sense and when we finally got you know the final prize i mean uh, the, the final you know you guys best of the best at no we were like what the hell? <laughs> and, and for us in, in brazil we kind of recover our credibility with like our imp well, importance yeah well what i think might you might mean with that is because um they receive better yeah. than the yeah the, the, no, the, um, the title the title right? yeah because like for example our, our friends or scene or you know uh, other band friends and stuff I mean they're used to us our presence right they're used to it, like our story they know what's happened along the years or yeah. and stuff like that and sometimes of course things tend to you know um, everybody kind of takes everything for granted in a way you know what yeah. I mean so like even though we've been together for so long we're doing the you know the kind of work that we've been doing sometimes it it's with an, with something like this like news of they won a festival in Canada and you know, out of like 300 200 bands or whatever and then it comes back as like whoa oh my god you guys best of the festival oh, you guys made it and yeah. stuff like that you know what I mean so it, it comes out you know and and it helps to refresh people's memories sometimes of like hey what's going yeah, on and, 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 yeah exactly. refresh, and yeah. you know bring it back to you know it gives us a chance of working it you know a lot more and getting you know uh, more breath yeah to we, do we, we yeah. did a lot of media in our, <clears throat> in our city when yeah. we get back to well, ah, the champions of indie yeah, so everyone wants to talk to you. <laughs> how the hell is Canada? Nobody goes to Canada to play, and you you go there yeah, yeah. and you won the festival. So it was very important moment, and we are now trying to be more international band. You know, do yeah. more tours, taking advantage of you know of what this brought to us, the yeah. contacts, and you know, and uh, the op the opportunities, the bands, the people we meet, and because because of Indie Week. Last year, we played, <clears throat> you know, Indie Week UK this year, and that, you know, got us a chance of playing in London, playing in Manchester, getting to know other bands, getting to know other people, and opening other doors, you know, making it possible to think, you know, we can go back next year, yeah. and we have something to go back to, you know. We have people that we know, <clears throat> sorry, have people that we know, have friends, some fans, yeah. you know, stuff to revisit. Because yeah. that's the best part of like coming to Indie Week last year. The best part is coming now, because even though we did that and it was you know such a cool experience, to be able to come back now and meet these people again, be, uh, play the same venues again, play the bovines, go to Cherry Colas, see the same people that we saw last year, have that you know moment again. It's freaking awesome because you know you've, you've made friends and yeah. these people come. They want to see your show again. They want to you know be a part of it. And that's that's what it's about, man. Sweet, that's awesome. Okay, um, what do you guys have coming up in the near future? Besides for what you're doing at the very moment. Okay. We have a um, video to release maybe cool. in this year from the, um, our third album. And our third album we have like we are launching in chapters. So we launched the first one on 7, 16, 2016. The other one was this year. We the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah, the beginning of the year, 
And now we have some videos and uh, 2019 we're gonna release the, the final chapter and the full album. Yeah. And with that we're gonna do some tours. Uh, we plan to do some tours in, in Brazil and we wish wish to come back to Canada and England or maybe do something. We have some connections in Latin America so maybe we do a couple of shows like that. Yeah, we wanna see if we can do a Mexico, Chile, Colombia, you know, because there's a, a route that's starting to build up a cool. connection between festivals. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Wicked. Okay, yeah. so my, uh, my last question for you, I'm going to put a link to you guys' music underneath. Um, awesome. but can you guys suggest any other Brazilian bands for us to listen to over here that we might not have heard of? Okay. Can, can, can we uh, suggest several? Yeah, yeah, whatever, uh, whatever <laughs> you guys got for us. Okay, so... Well, uh, we have the bands that are here with us in Canada right now, uh, which is Toro. So it's T O R O. You can yeah. find them as Toro Brasilia, Brazilian with an S. You can find them. They're like a super cool, like a stoner, uh, uh, modern rock vibe. Um, you have Trampa, which is also <clears throat> uh, a Toronto favorite. Of, of everybody here and they're also very cool you can t check them out Trampa with an A uh, T-R-A-M-P-A um, you can check out <clears throat> Dona Cislani which is if you check out the, the Indie Week showcase night and if you go and look at all the names you have like some really kick-ass names of awesome bands that you know came up with us this time and you can check like outside of that list you can check bands like Darsha, which is D A R S H A N, right. which is very cool. I'm glad you're spelling these out because I would not know how to write. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> spell it off. And one more, which is also noted, uh, Ursa, uh, like a bear, like a female bear, like Ursa. Yes, U R S A. Check those out, and you know you won't regret it, guys. And have fun. So, Check those yeah. out and have fun. Yeah. So All from fun. our hometown. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for doing the interview. As yeah, I know, nice make sure to check thank these you. guys out. Um, the winners of last year's Indie Week. And yeah, stoked to see them. They're playing tonight. Super psyched with the whole mind. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Porque chora a porra da porra